taken strips of one chicken breast and I put it in the pan with one teaspoon of olive oil just to help it from sticking to the pan. And I am just going to make sure they stay separated in the pan. Make sure it cooks all the way through before I add the yummy sausage. I took about half of the large link of sausage. This is hickory smoked. I cut it up into thin pieces just like I did with the chicken. And I kind of set that aside until the chicken is done cooking as far as pinkness. And you'll want your chicken to brown at some point, usually uh, while you're adding the sausage. So you just kind of make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. And make sure to flip them so that way they're cooked all the way through. And then when the chicken is starting to brown, I add a little bit of Italian dipping spice. This is by Savannah Meadows. It's a lavender farm in um, McKinney, Texas. And it is great if you wanna do um, something simple, but you want it to taste a little less simple. And I'll include their online website um, where they sell these. This was, came in a three pack with two other seasoning um, combinations. And you'll just wanna take see it has a little top. You just wanna sprinkle it on there. as much as you like. And now, we're gonna add the sausage. See how it's starting to brown? That's good. Now when I add the sausage, I want to turn down the heat from a 6 to a 4. Because we're going to add egg to this here in a minute. I just flipped over the sausages and you see how brown they are on one side that's actually how you want them and the chicken's starting to brown really nicely too that's why I turned down the heat so the chicken doesn't overcook while the sausage is cooking so the sausage is done cooking I 
probably, it only needed like three minutes, four minutes of cooking. So now, I'm gonna add some egg to it. So for two people, I did half of a big sausage link, one chicken breast, and I'm gonna start out with two eggs. Now if I feel like that's not enough, I'll go three. But if you want to do four people, you can do two chicken breasts and a full link of sausage and four to six eggs, depending how much egg you want in there. But it's gonna be really yummy. So here in a second, I'll show you what it looks like after I put the egg in there and I just kind of scramble it in with all the other in in ingredients. I just kind of scramble it in with all of the uh, ingredients in the pan. So clearly I went with three eggs just because I thought it would fill up the pan better. I'm just kind of scrambling it in the pan. Scraping it, making sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. Kind of getting up all that seasoning and that good sausage grease. There we go. Sorry, it's really hard to do with one hand. I really need a better tripod. And just make sure that egg fully cooks but doesn't overcook. Now if you're worried about burning the egg, it'll take a little longer to cook, but you can always turn it down a couple notches if you like down to a simmer if you have an electric stove it'd be like a, a two or a three I have it at a four still so and I like my eggs a little bit um, runny but two he does not so I kind of find a happy medium there That's gonna be about it. I'm gonna turn the stove off. And I'm gonna remove the pan to the back uh, where there's no burner running. And then uh, I'm gonna set up a plate. 